Well, I think one of the easiest write-offs, and of course I'm biased. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, especially if you've got a guy that will do ads for you or, or um, you know, marketing expenses can come down to that uh, sign you guys saw out there, that mobile money sign. That's a really easy write-off, especially if you guys are trying to get ads up online or in the, I mean, I hope you guys are not using newspaper too much, but in the newspaper, billboards, different things like that. It's real easy to just, that, that's real easy. Books as well, personal development, um, you know, cor course books, a any sort of book. I've got a ton of, obviously, personal development stuff. Got a ton of practical stuff too. Then again, courses, kind of spins off of subscriptions, kind of education. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, you know, courses, obviously, you guys got a little hack this weekend where you might not have as many course deductions, but if you can't find it on that library that we were talking about, then at least you can write it off. Uh, my accountant wrote off uh, my tuition. And then clothing is uh, you know, the last thing, especially if it's for business purposes. So um, yeah, yeah, my accountant let me write it off if, if I would only wear it at business events. So here we are. I was just making jokes earlier. I only got three suits. So you guys only got to see all three. And I got no more. I don't know when I'll pull them out again. But yeah, so that kind of a rundown, just some thoughts of mine. Uh, some people are going to be much more aggressive about this than me and bring up a bunch more. I'm fairly conservative. I'm not a very aggressive, I don't, I don't go crazy. I'm not one of those guys you'll see online that's like, you know, get your net income down to zero. Uh, I know there's tricks around it, but for me, I don't want to, like for me right now is, especially, you know, at a, at the age I'm at, I'm trying to figure out, you know, what, am I going to build a house? Am I going to buy a house? What am I going to do? And one of the troubles is, is if I bring my net income way down to save on taxes, um, especially when you're uh, a business owner, typically when you're trying to get any sort of mortgage or get borrow any sort of thing, they're going to look at, with your, when you're an employee, they'll look at three to six months of pay stubs or any sort of history like that. For me, they're going to look at two full years, and they're going to take the average of uh, you know, the, the previous two years an average amount. And so if you dump that, that bottom line far down, that can impact that side of things as well. So in the back of my head this year, next year, I might be looking at doing something like that. So in the back of my mind this year, I'm not actually as aggressive because I want, even though I'm going to get taxed more, I want the net higher to have a better chance on the other, you know, on the flip side of, say, a house or something like that.